I just want to say, um, you know, we've all had a really bad few months. I've had it three times in the last month bust out the sound of music. I don't, I don't know what other people do, but uh, 1776 and the sound of music, I did not have to go to the music man yet. And I just sing them because that's what our parents did when we were stressed out when we were little. So I was sound of music today. I was like, oh man. Because because all the stuff. And, and my kids go to Albemarle High School. And two kids died in the last three days. Ah. One went to Albemarle four years ago, and one just just yesterday was a junior. So I was like, I was like, I'm busting out, I'm busting out the sound of music. Uh, let's see. Okay, I have a fr or I kind of have a friend. It's not a crazy lady that I meet at, at the coffee shop, and she's disappeared. So she may be gone. She might be have gone to Maryland or. Or wherever they go. Uh, and some of the things, she, she tells these stories. And the great thing about eccentric people, and I'm probably getting to be one, is we always start in the middle of stories. And I really like that. Uh, one of them is, I never met Hitler. No, 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 no. I did meet Stalin, of course, when he was younger, before he got all mean. I was traveling on a train through Central Europe. I don't know what happened to him. He seemed like a nice young man at the time. And another time she goes, and then one time teeth started growing out the side of my face, a second mouth. I had to go into the hospital for some surgery to have it fixed. Half the town where I grew up had a second mouth growing out of their face. It was kind of a weird town. Another story, she starts in the middle, she goes, she goes, did you know at one time in the 1950s, the Washington Senators had four knuckleballers on their pitching rotation at the same time? And I said, well, I think they have some lotion for that now. Or penicillin, <laughs> penicillin maybe. General Custer, still. General Custer was a real jerk, you know. Members of my family had to go out and clean up all the mess after the Battle of Little, Little Bighorn. And I was like, ma'am, uh, it's time to start letting some of that go. Okay. I, always, I want to add to her stories, but I think she might come in here sometime when I'm doing it, and I don't want it to get back to it. But I, but I, think, I, think, I think she'll be okay after a while. Uh, this I'm revising. I had a friend who said, what is East Coast comedy? They're like, I'm on the West Coast. What is East Coast comedy? So I'm sending him this and calling it East Coast comedy. And this is called uh, Siamese Elephants. And it's kind of a rewrite, but... Yeah, it's true that I went to the freak show and befriended those two Siamese elephants. That's four total. <laughs> it's more difficult to ride a Siamese elephant because four of the legs are pointing upwards, always trying to kick you in the crotch. <laughs> when one set of legs starts walking, <laughs> the other ones want to start walking too, so they won't be left behind. I want to socialize Siamese elephants into polite society, like my fair lady. For $20,000, you can get a Kardashian to show up at your party. Why wouldn't people pay the same for elephants? Elephants get up each day, like anyone else. Sit on the edge of the bed and put four feet on the floor. Once you've put your fourth foot on the floor, you're committed to yourself to you've committed yourself to surviving another day. Should they have to be citizens to work in this country? What about John Lennon? And One Direction? Bill Collins. Nobody bugs these people. I got them a fake work visa. But they still can't ride the bus. Because people stare at them so much. 
they're always a big hit at the Sky Bar, though they always want to eat the lobster mac and cheese, which kills all my profit margins. You know, great advances in elephant therapy begin and end with aromatherapy. That's the key to all the breakthroughs. When you promise them that you won't slaughter them for their tusks, that also calms them down quite a bit. Once we get the brain electrode voice box hooked up, you are going to be surprised at the depth of the sad and profound poetry that Siamese elephants add to your lives. Then we can finally get the attention of PBS and have a show to put up against Downton Abbey. <laughs> and honey, boo boo. When they're teenagers, Siamese elephants are always trying to sneak out at night to get some love. On the computer, they're often on Tinder. Did you ever see a Siamese elephant do the walk of shame? Aww. Their mother elephant resents them because they have different birthdays. Right. So I was calling that <laughs> that East Thank you East Coast uh, comedy. And if anyone ever finds someone who's like this amazing performer, you know, I'm always told they say, you know, you have a real face for radio. And I understand. Oh. That. <laughs> and I'm I'm really a writer more than I'm not. I don't have to be up here. If somebody's a great performer and knows somebody, you can send them my way and I'll write them something. All right.